<laughs> sometimes. All right. Hey everybody, just wanted to take a, a, a break here in the middle of, we are, are, are unpacking our Zenith 750 Cruiser model airplane and uh, my name is Adam, this is my dad, Jeff. I'm the mechanic, he's the executive um, and we're gonna see if we can't build a plane together uh, in his garage. So it's gonna be really interesting but we're gonna document it and, uh, and Bring you along for the ride, so um, uh, stay tuned. Dad, any uh, any 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 words of, of of any any idea how this is gonna go? I think it's gonna be exciting. My goal is to only buy maybe one part that we make a mistake with, but other than that, this is gonna be great. High hopes, high goals. All right, we'll see you later. So we're at uh, Estes uh, shipping hub, picking up the crate, the crate of all crates, and uh, we have this nice tilt bed trailer that we rented. But uh, we did kind of realize that uh, I don't think the brakes work, uh, so that's going to be interesting. That's why Crazy Man Dad is going to drive, and uh, we're going to get this thing on here and hopefully get it home all in one piece. All right, we got a bigger truck. We came back and we got it. Thank you, Rick. That's our neighbor. I think I think we're not gonna have any problems with this one. Oh man! had to borrow our neighbor's truck and trailer and apparently the cat and do all kinds of crazy stuff to get this crate here but it's here so we are hoping to document this build and it's going to be really interesting I'm sure. Zenith Aircraft Factory. Quite a trip getting this thing. We went up there we got a trailer that was highly insufficient loaded it poorly. I know noob mistakes but that's you know you only make those once. Uh, and then we came back, borrowed our neighbor's trailer. Thank you, neighbor. And then <laughs> went back up there, loaded it up, came back, and then had this whole thing of, of this, this trying to get this thing out of the trailer. And uh, here it is. Here's our airplane. Doesn't look like much right now, but once we put wings on this baby, it's gonna be good. All right, so this is what this looks like. This is the crate, and, uh, and Dad's so funny, he smiles every time he's on camera. <laughs> oh, that won't last long. Uh, this, so this is what it looks like. Uh, this is our Zenith unboxing, I guess you could say. Uh, this is the 750 Cruiser model. Uh, and let me get you, let me get a wide shot over here. That's, that is the, that's the whole 14 foot, four foot wide, 36 inch high, 39 inch high crate. And uh, it's got all kinds of goodies in here. Um, and we're still figuring out where exactly, or how we're gonna store all this stuff. But we're definitely not ready to actually start pulling pieces out yet, because we need to figure out what, what, where we're gonna put them. Because this thing is, a, it's, it's, it'll explode if we're not careful. And there will be pizza, pieces everywhere, and then we'll be like, oh, what happened to this piece? And we'll be like, I don't know. All right, day one.
your crank, getting your crank home. Yeah, it's like about a week worth of prep to get ready for the work to begin. Yeah. I will say though, it is going faster than I thought it would. Like a lot fast. Like I thought it would be like a week before we even got the crate like unloaded, and it's only day two. it's only day two that we've actually like opened up. That's true, Adam. The crate. To be fair. But yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. That's part of that's part of why we're we're kind of filming this and stuff and so that you potential zenith builder will know some of this stuff. As long as they don't change it by the time we do or maybe they should change it and then it'll become irrelevant and that'll be good. rolling out like a red carpet or something or brown carpet oh boy brown carpet sounds delightful now actually I want to save this because we use this for painting and all the protecting parts when we oh. start assembling stuff okay so yes you want me to help you on it yes okay all right see funny thing about dad is that he'll start working on a job that seems totally random just because he won't mention it to you that like what he's doing or why he's doing it but now that I know, I'm gonna go help him. Good girl, you're so hot. You're so hot. All right, all right time lapse time. All right, we're going through and we're going through this big box of um, of uh, stuff and trying to we got to catalog everything uh, to make sure that we have it and stuff and um, it's a little tricky so we're both going through it and it's going pretty slowly but it now it feels like we're playing bingo with uh, you know we're like oh we need Charlie one dash seven and we're like oh I got it I got it got to have the tunes listen to some Joe Satch maybe we'll listen to some Rush later. Alrighty, well we are having a good time sorting our stuff. Lollipop is hanging out. She's having a great time. And uh, we just ran into, we're sorting this box and we just uh, got to a point where there are like a bunch of, bunch of little pieces. All these little guys. And we already got these ones so far, but we're gonna take a food and caffeine break before we go any farther. But uh, so far so good. Skins are still uh, in the uh, in here. Apparently, they run all along the bottom of the crate, which we did not know, and along the side there. Uh, so that was uh, good to know, because uh, or would have been good to know, because Dad was kind of you know kind of standing in the crate a little bit. Uh, 
So, uh, but, so hopefully they're, they're fine. Uh, although I'd be more concerned about the forklift than you. That's what's going on right now. Uh, Lollipop, you want to say anything or sign off? I just want to say that I miss Sabrina and God bless America. All right, it is day three, not consecutively, that we've been working on this, unpacking everything. And actually, I think we've only put in about maybe eight hours of work total, I think. So um, anyway, today happens to be the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. I'm still excited. I am still excited. <laughs> Tango 1-10. Tango 1-10. Another horn doubler, or cap doubler, spar cap. Okay. And a Tango 1-8. Tango 1-8. Tango 4-1. 4-1 check. So 4-11. Uh-oh, where'd you go? Ah, Tango 4-11, got it. 4-4. Tango. 4-4, four four. got it. Okay, so we've got an idea. It was kind of my idea, but uh, we are going to actually, I think we're gonna use this crate as our work table. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Lowe's and buy all these supplies. Basically, we just need more two by fours and some big old wheels. Uh, and we're gonna put this, put this baby on wheels. We're gonna beef it up. We're gonna put a, uh, we're gonna put in uh, like some shelves to, to put all this aluminum stuff. And then, uh, and because the skins are already underneath, They're, the skins are on the bottom here. And so uh, this way we'll have a large area where we can store the skins, no problem. Because I think that's kind of the biggest issue that we're actually running into with storage is the skins. Because the skins, they kind of need to like stay flat and we don't want to uh, get them bent out of shape. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get the supplies to do that and we're going to do it and then we're going to do it and we'll do it. 